Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install Dell Freddy software on Windows. So you can even uh, download the software and you can compile by yourself and then it's easy to install. So here you can even yeah, request for the pre-compiled version. I have the pre-compiled version. If you are from any uh, institution or from academia, you can directly send request uh, from this website right you have to register and then you have to check the prerequisite for your computer then you can download the source code and you can compile it and then you can run a calculation and if you have any issues you can send them because there are uh, forums you can even post your queries right so for my case i requested for pre-compiled version and i have it so let's see how to install the dell Freddy software on my windows machine so I'm going to search for it and let's see if I have that in my okay in my e drive I have the latest one and I also have the previous versions as well because I'm uh, using this software for a while so I'll show you how to install the previous version dplo and the latest one dplo fm right so let me find the latest one so here we have the software the latest one 2021 and 03 so yeah at first if you go to license and then license manager at first you have to install that one and you can read yeah you can open that readme file and it will show you how to do that but for this one if i just double click it will open on the window and then we can easily go next and we can install that one it's taking a while so here is the yeah wizard you can see if i click next you see it is asking yes install license files right so if i just click next so it is asking to locate the license files because i already have the license file so i have to look at that okay let me just uh, show you where is the license file so it is the license file i got it so here is the latest one so it will look like uh, this one this one if i just open that uh, license file in notepad it will show you the date right this one this is the date you can see the date and everything the information you need they will just uh, use your mac id and address and everything then it will, it will have that okay so i'm going to use that one for my purpose if i click here it will ask for the location I'm going there i'm selecting that one so let's see got the license that means found so click next and if i just click install it is installing that yeah just taking a while not that long time to install that one and once it's done so we'll just install our software package so it's showing it's done finished so when i'm done with that one so what i have to do i have to find the latest one because this is the one that is not the latest one i have the latest one here that is version 2 if i go there and then you have to go to that one model and this one is for dot msi for windows and then dot rpm is for linux one so i'm going to show you only for the windows one but for linux one you have the uh, manual here you can find it but for installing it on linux you need to have that root permission so if you are the owner of the linux machine then you can install it otherwise you uh, won't be able to install it since i am using the high performance pc known as hpc so i don't have that root permission because it is from the university so i asked the person who has the root permission so he installed it for me so it's not that rocket science you can easily follow the installation manual but when i'm going to run the model on linux i'll show the directories and other necessary information regarding that uh, linux installation processes as well so if I just uh, double click on that file, it is going to open that Windows installer and yeah, it's here, 
we need to just click next and we have to accept the license right we don't usually read all these things and then we need the complete installation package and here is that one if I click install it will take a while I think let's see if it is doing well or not and after that we have to install another one that is the previous version right if we just click yes and it's updating the component registration and it is checking everything and then copying the files to the required yeah, directory and then it will install that one so we need to install the previous version the deep low version so it's done it depends on the yeah speed of your processor so it's already done and yeah if I can check I have the desktop shortcut I just double click on that and if I have another monitor let's see opening that one and showing the validity I have the validity up to December right 20th of December of this year and it is showing the version number and everything as well so it opened successfully so here is the interface you can see and we'll yeah discuss about this thing we can easily yeah open any model I, I can I can just show you how to open a model and how it looks like so we don't have to understand all these things right now I'm just uh, importing a model that is already you know, there so let me find the model uh, if I can find it then yeah it will be easier for me to show you the okay let me just uh, show you that one if I can uh, show you any, any version of the model any one of them maybe it's it's taking a little bit time because it has a lot of files and it's trying to import all these files all together once you have the model ready then you can easily run it that is not yeah very difficult thing to do because the interface is pretty simple you can easily do that uh, yeah the thing I was trying to mention previously that we need other version because that is uh, that includes the post processing tools here you can also yeah process your thing so I have another model but I'm not going to show everything on this one so you don't know the location here right so I'll show you the location where it is locating the study area see it is covering the part of the Atlantic Ocean and I have yeah it is a very big model and I'm just uh, focusing on this North Carolina if I zoom in so that will be so th this is how we can open any model okay and uh, if I just want to install the post processor so I have to install the other version of this one so what is that I think there is that version 4.0401 and let me check if I have so that that is the latest one and I'm going to just uh, install that that one MSI right it is showing the same thing here and then I have to accept it installation should be complete so creating a desktop shortcut right so we are installing this one because of the quick plot so it has a post processing tool written in MATLAB it is called quick plot so if we have that one so you can even download the quick plot separately from that Deltras website so that will be also useful then you don't need this one as well so it's almost done yeah it's done so it created another shortcut so yeah if I click on that so it's also opening so it's also opening the software in this one so this version this version is the previous one so that that is what I was trying to say that if we have this one so it has different tools it also have the 
also has the grid generation field and this one quick block so if i just uh, going to show you what is the usability of this one i'm just uh, trying to yeah show you the output of any model i have here right uh, let me just uh, output of any in any model i'm going to okay show you there okay mm, this is the directory okay i'm putting and then if i click here quick block it is opening that quick block and i can open the quick block separately i'll show you that one uh, later on no problem but i think this is uh good for the beginner you can you can use that one as well if you have that package and what you need you may need to install that mcr matlab compiler so once yeah it open like this you have to specify the output of del 40 file so here you can see the file we had and if i you can just go back to your previous uh, simulation i think i have more file there history file i can even open the history file that yeah, stores all the time series data and we also have the map file history file see from the history file i can even open the water level these are the stations right observation stations if i just uh, click here it will open the time series of that so we need that so now you can even extract the time series by exporting but if we have more than thousand right points how can we just uh, export that one by one so that's why i have written a code in python that can yeah automatically export all this yeah points and make time series so i'll show that how to do that and see these are the output we have so for this purpose you need that and if you want to see the map then you have to select the map file then yeah i can yeah, show you the output of that simulation as well so it is just taking time because the model is huge see i'm just going to show you the mesh the aerial extent so that is the model so i'm going to show you the tutorial on that okay so and then we can even see other variables as well but okay i'm not going to show you right now so i'll show you later on one by one right so that is the benefit of this modeling either mostly we'll use this one fm version and we'll use that dflow 4 version for post processing as well but mostly we'll use our written script to pre-process and post-processing things as well so this is how you can even install that one right it is not that hard it is pretty simple so this is for today so we have the study area we already described that one we have already the model installed on our machine and then we can go for the mesh generation and the other steps we have to do right so thank you very much if you have any query or comment you can you can write it there in the comment box and let me know if i can be useful for your research or for your modeling yeah i'll also <coughs> be happy to learn new things as well so thank you very much for watching this video and thank you very much for listening